Hi, open SUSE lovers, and welcome back to the channel. Are you tired of updates breaking your system or that sinking feeling when a configuration change ruins everything? Well, today I will show you how to make your open SUSE tumbleweed almost unbreakable using immutable systems and transactional updates. Let's dive in. Open SUSE tumbleweed is already known for its stability and ruling updates. But did you know you can go a step farther and turn your system into an immutable setup? With this, your system's base files remain untouched during runtime. What about updates? They only take effect after a reboot. What about rollbacks? Breathe. First, we need to install the transactional dash update package. This tool lets you make changes in a controlled atomic way. Open your terminal and run the following command. First, make sure that your system is up to date, and then we run the command to install the transactional dash update package and its recommends packages. This install the tool we will use to manage updates and package installations in an immutable way. Once installed, we are ready to use transactional update. Let's move to the next step. For immutability to work, we need to make the root file system read only. This ensures that no changes are made during runtime. Open slash etc slash fs tab in your favorite text editor as root. This file controls how your file system are mounted. Find the line that mounts slash root your root file system. Add the RO for read only option to make it read only. It should look something like this. Save and close the file. This change ensures your root file system stays protected. Now reboot your system to apply the change. After rebooting the system and successfully log in to your system, make sure that root is mounted as read-only file system. And yes, Tumbleweed logo is not blue anymore. Now let's install a package immutability. For example, let's install KDE in life. And instead of the regular zipper install, use transactional dash update space package space install space and the name of the package in this case kde and life and if you noticed i have snapper space list running in the background and i'm using watch command to see the changes for the snapper or the snapshots on the system while using transactional update once done you can reboot your system to activate the changes or you can run to do transactional update and apply but before we run this as we showed before in our earlier video if i try to run kde and live and i press tab it is not there and if i write the command it is not there and the shell asking me to install the package but here when i run apply and we can give it reboot if you noticed here it will completely reboot your system not just reboot your session as micro os so here is one of the differences between immutability on tumbleweed and micro os after rebooting the new package is installed and ready to use Updating your system is just as safe. Run this command transactional dash update distribution upgrade or you can run update only. It downloads and applies updates in a separate snapshot ensuring your running system remains untouched until you reboot. If something goes wrong, no worries. Snapper integrates with this system allowing you to roll back easily. To roll back use Snapper to list your snapshots snapper list and here this snapshot number 23 it has been created after i installed thunderbird the mozilla email client find the snapshot you want and rule back like this snapper space roll back space and the number of the snapshot pay close attention on what's happening here two more snapshots has been created to rule back to the snapshot that we wanted to once you finish, reboot your system to activate the snapshot you root back to. After rebooting, your system is back to its previous state. 
as if the bad update or change never happened. And please again pay attention to the snapshots created to roll back. You have a backup of the snapshot that you rolled back to. So why keep an eye on this? Because it's a space consuming. And this is another thing to pay attention to the difference between OpenSUSE Tumbleweed and Micro OS. And you start to realize the great job that the team did to create Micro OS, especially when it comes to creating snapshots and the transactional system. One more thing to add here, and you need to pay attention to it, that now you are using the Micro OS functionality or the atomic update transactional system on your OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, but without SE Linux. Now you have this thing using App Armor. So keep that in mind. So in case if you would like to switch to SE Linux from App Armor, you may look for this option for transactional update setup SE Linux, but make sure to stop App Armor on your system first, take backup, snapshot, and then go ahead and use that option. If you tried, please leave a comment and share with us your experience with this. So why go immutable? Reliability, consistency, and peace of mind. With transactional update, your OpenSUSE Tumbleweed system becomes rock solid, ready for anything. Did you find this guide helpful? Smash that like button, subscribe for more Linux tips, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, happy Linuxing and thanks for watching.